what's up guys? I've literally been making videos for like 10 minutes today and I already started making one and I forgot to press record. But luckily I got it this time, so. Hey, okay, it's working. <laughs> Sorry. So this video, we're gonna be talking about basic, 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 basic design methods or starting information, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna be talking about entities and attributes. These are very, very important in databases, and I highly recommend you really understand the fundamentals before you start diving into database programming. Now, database design is a huge concept. I actually have like, like 70 YouTube videos over the topic, a whole series over database design that's like 50 videos. So it can get very complex and in-depth, but you don't really need all of the information. You can start off with just a little bit of few things and start designing your own databases. And the best place to start ever is entity, entities, attributes. Now if you think of an entity, you might think of some like mystical creature or something, I don't know. But just think of an entity as something. Let's use a blow up mattress, for example. All right, so I got a blow up mattress. All right, that's the blow up mattress. Now this, is an example of an entity. Let's just worry about entities. I'm gonna get rid of the tr attributes right now. There's two really classifications, right? We have generic and then specific. Generic and specific describe how specific we're being when we're talking about an air mattress, right? We could be talking about a very, very specific air mattress with a serial number of like 10125 or whatever, that is very specific because we're talking about a specific air mattress, right? We could also be very generic and we could just be talking about air mattresses in general. So it doesn't really matter which air mattress. In fact, we could have multiple air mattresses. That one looks pretty hard. Got a saggy one, you know? There's all kinds of air mattresses. One for everybody's likings of air mattresses. This is very generic. This is generic because we're not being specific on this specific air mattress. We're not talking about one individual air mattress. So that's the difference between generic and specific. Generic is just a classification of something. Specific is a specific example of that something. Let's talk about puppies. Right. So I got a puppy here. <laughs> this puppy, his name is Swag Dog. Alright, answer the question. Is this specific or generic? Five, four, three, two, one. It is specific. That's because we're talking about a specific dog because his name is Swag Dog. Now what about this? All right, here's another dog, which kind of looks like some weird puzzle piece with like a hand, I don't know. This is, this is just dogs. We're, we're using this picture to represent dogs in general. No specific kind, just dogs. Is that specific or generic? I hope you guys guessed that one, it's generic. So yeah, specific and generic. Let's move on to attributes, and then we'll discuss why all of this is important. So let's move on to attributes. There's also generic and specific attributes. So what is an attribute? An attribute describes something. So a generic attribute, a generic attribute describes a generic entity, such as dogs. A specific attribute describes a specific entity. A specific describes a specific entity. So generic, I got dogs. Specific, swag dog. Which is a specific dog. Now, what do you mean by describe? I heard you say that. I heard you ask me that question earlier, so I'm gonna answer that. What do you mean by describing a generic entity? Well, if you think of an attribute of somebody or something or a dog, 
it describes that thing. So I could be like, wow, this dog, swag dog. Let's see how fast I can draw a dog. Oh, dog. This swag dog, let's describe him. Well, he's ugly. Sorry, buddy. And um, he's about 25 pounds. And he is lonely. Poor buddy. All right, that is example of specific attributes. Now let's talk about generic attributes. We have a dog, all right? It doesn't really matter what kind of dog. Boom. This is just a classification of dogs in general. We're just using this picture to represent dogs. Let's describe the entities of dogs. They might have a name. Their weight. Maybe their height. Uh, height. I don't know. I don't know. It's about height. And their color. So these are generic attributes. They are basically groups of possibilities. Name. It could be swag dog. It could be puppy. It could be bubbles. It could be other weird names humans give dogs. Height, it could be five foot, six foot, 80 foot. You know, big ducks, I like big ducks. Color, it could be blue, green, rainbow, indigo, violet, charcoal, onyx, clear. Those are generic attribute groups. So, let's just kinda, let's kinda make a chart here. Just trying to, just trying to make it clear in your mind. Gotta get my eraser. Let's give a generic, and then let's give a specific example matching that generic, which would be a specific. So don't get confused, just, just follow me. Let's, let's use humans, All right? So we got person. It's very generic. That's an entity. It's a type of entity. That's another way, entity type. It's just a person. All right, the person has a name. You know, maybe a phone number if they're from the modern world. You know, they might have a height. Which I, I still, not sure if I spelled that right, but height, they might have a height, they might have an age. No, no, even better, a birthday. And yeah, so forth. These are uh, generic attribute, basically categories. Right now we have this person, let's draw a picture just to represent him. He's flying through the sky with a cape. All right. This guy's name is Superman. His phone number is 1-800-YOU-WISH. His height, probably like seven foot 11. Birthday, well, I don't know. So let's just go with like June 5th, 1938. This is generic. This is specific. That's important to know because when we design tables, which is what we store our information in, we want the titles of the columns and the table itself to be generic, but the values that we put into the table need to be specific. So if we have a table, we can make this, I don't know, customer, all right? I know, if you guys have ever seen my other videos, this is like the only example I ever use, but doesn't matter. Now we can also give these columns. So we could put, you know, Superman, so this is basically the same pattern we're gonna do for every single table. Here, we have the entity type. Here, we have the specific entity. Here, we have the attribute types. Here, we have specific attributes. Now, if we wanted to add another person in here, we could. We could put Batman, blah, 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 blah. and then, 
I can't think of anybody else. So yeah, guys, hopefully that makes things clear. Entities, attributes, specific and generic. That's pretty important. So hopefully that was helpful and hopefully it clears up how to make tables in the best possible way. Peace and subscribe.